Kawhi Con. It's the one tournament every year. Like, are we good enough? Can we beat these guys? Usually the answer is no, but you always want it to be yes. You always want to defend Hawaii, you know? Like that sense of Hawaii pride. When I was born, my family kind of already had a lot of gaming consoles, but the one that I ended up playing the most was the Super Nintendo. I remember playing Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo, and it was like one of my fondest memories from when I was younger. But nowadays, you can get into like Smash with eight players. Definitely the biggest thing is the amount of people playing at a time. If I told my eight-year-old self that I grew up to be like a professional Smash Bros player, since I was young, I knew I wanted to play games. So if I told him how successful I am now, he would pretty much be like, yo, I, I could do it. Like, that's, that's sick. And he'd do the same exact things he was doing, just go back to the game consoles and just keep playing. So where are you from originally? I'm from Kapolei, Hawaii. There's not really a lot to do. It's like, there's movie theater, kind of spread out shopping center. Like there's not really a mall or anything, but there's like neighborhoods, just hang out with your friends. It's not the biggest place and there's not a lot to do, but there's a lot of places to just like chill. Being back home in Hawaii is always nice. Not too hot, a little bit of humid. It feels like a blanket, like, no, nowhere else feels like it. So as soon as I step off the plane, I was always like, I'm home, you know? I would play Smash with my friends from like middle school. I always played it growing up. I remember playing Kirby on like the Star Fox stage and Smash 64. And then uh, playing Melee with my brother and his friends. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Big fan. Thank you. And we played seven stock games, waiting in rotation for like what seemed like 10 minutes a match. And only nowadays I'm like, that, that's not efficient. <laughs> I remember, I think I was in fifth grade, the middle of fifth grade when Brawl came out. I challenged my friends. Eventually I got to be the best in my friend group. One friend group was better than my friend group at Smash Brothers. This was for Brawl. And then I was like, you know, we gotta practice. We gotta beat these guys. So we beat those guys, and then they're like, but there's an even better friend group, which was GSM. What? I'm sorry, Charles. Fucking. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. sorry, I've been the better Korean. Great. The main reason that um, we all know James Void is because he's a part of our crew, which is uh, GSM. And GSM is actually a crew that was created by me and a couple of other people. Oh, I, I know the GSM crew very well. Uh, they started uh, competing in Smash around 2008 uh, for Smash Brothers Brawl. They just wanted to be like the dominant crew uh, in our scene. Um, GSM, it originally stood for like GIMP style madness because our combo video was like all GIMPs off stage, but it changed into game set match, more like, you know, like tennis kind of deal. And that was just easier and it was easier for people to remember, so that's what we settled on. These guys that I watched through YouTube live like down the street from me. Eventually I finally like met up with them once at my friend Jared's house. They came through, even a Korean came through. I am a coach, commentator, TO, and video editor for the Smash community. The beginning of me and Void's relationship is pretty interesting. Uh, I actually didn't really like him. <laughs> the person who was like the uh, leader of GSM LT, he actually wanted Void to come in. He thought he was a very talented player. I fought him in tournament at a brawl at uh, like one of the Hawaii locals for brawl. I pretty much slapped him and I was just like, yeah, I don't think this kid's that good. We just got destroyed. <laughs> I was like, how am I getting like so much better? But like, I'm still like losing. And all of them, they didn't even play like the best characters. One of them played Rob, one of them plays Ness. And in Brawl, these characters sucked. And I'm like, I'm losing to these literal low tiers and I'm playing like Marth. Marth's like one of the best characters in the game. I'm like, dang, I got a lot to work on. I don't think anybody actually calls him Void. Like over here, we all call him by his first name, James, like a normal person would. And we're all kind of into like, 
video games and like rapping and like doing weird stuff. Even like half parkour, fake parkour. That's mostly you though, right? That's no, such a deep memory. Yeah. You just unleash. All happy for him. Yeah, I think we're just generally happy for him and stuff. So. Smash 4 came out and it was really interesting like within the first two months and I didn't know he wanted to get that serious about it and then we're playing and one night he just looked at me and he was like, I want to be the best player in the world. There was a slight pause and I was like, if you really think you can do it, I believe in you. And from that moment on, we've been working towards that goal. We're kind of getting there. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty tough, <laughs> but I think, I think Boy can do it. It came to around like late August, early September of 2015. It was a one-way flight. When I got to SoCal, I had like $30. That's like two tournaments and some food. I knew exactly what I wanted to do with my life, and I knew this might be my only shot. So even if it means like taking a huge risk of leaving Hawaii, there's no looking back for me. Like I have to make it count. Kind of sucked. <laughs> like at least initially. I really had to win like the first few tournaments. Those were the tournaments that probably had the most pressure. And I lost to like different people at each tournament. But I placed in the money, <laughs> so I was good. I would say Genesis 3 was like the first tourney that was a big part of leading up to COG. Because I did really good at Genesis 3, I got fourth. There was another person at the tournament as well, and it was Devin Nash, Malixia, who was a big part of COG for a pretty long time. And after the tournament, he came up to me and he's like, hey man, uh, you know, I like your stuff. Are you down to have like a meeting? Like, are you interested in joining COG? And I was like, COG? <laughs> I actually don't think anyone back home thought it would blow up to even that level back in 2016. And I was like, guys, like GSM, I told them, I was like, I'm in the talks with COG. We might be COG void soon. And they're like, yo, like COG, like you've loved COG for so long. Oh my god, you're gonna be a sponsored player. I'm James Makekao Tyson. I'm a professional Smash player for Counter Logic Gaming, and I go by the tag Void. Eventually, like, catch me in a COG jersey, guys. Like, I'm gonna meet the COG League team. Oh my god, hung out with this guy today. Oh my god, like, ugh. such a fanboy. And then everybody was such a fanboy. It was so great. We were just all being fanboys. <laughs> I mean, we knew that he was good at Smash. We knew that he was already going to be getting there, but we didn't know that this, like, he would be on CLG. We didn't know that he would be one of the top players. We didn't, we didn't know any of that. For the scene, he's kind of like a big representation of, you know, like, what's possible. Because a lot of people, they're automatically like, oh, we're in Hawaii. You know, automatically people think Hawaii is like one of the, like, the worst regions. Can't make it in Hawaii. But then, you have Void. You can make it from here if that's what you really want to do. When he made it happen, I was I popped off. I was so happy for him. He was the boy that made it. He was the guy that proved that you know it doesn't matter where you come from, what kind of resources your community has. You can get good if you want it badly enough. Uh, Smash and Slash. I I don't know how I want if I want to be honest. Uh, 2018 was a pretty rough year for me. And like here I am sitting in winners finals for maybe like the fourth time, maybe the third time in like my life at a major tournament. And I was like, how did I get here? <laughs> like what happened? I'm going through such a rough time in life, but I can find like so much enjoyment and this mentality. Like it feels a lot better to try to cheer myself up than to beat myself up. And lo and behold, the person I have to fight is Salem. Salem denied my first major win about a year ago and I was in the same situation. I was in winner's finals, beat him in winner's finals, went to grands. I just stayed true to my colors, made sure to keep my head in the game along with like all the other stuff and that's it, you know, Void wins the major, Void wins the major. Fourth throw. Fourth throw for the mix of that's it! Void wins the major! Void wins the super major! Sheik is back on the map, baby! It's back on the map! This is Void's first super major tournament win! Look it was magical in a way. We had our backs to the wall, like I could come through, like finally get the major win I've been looking for, when like I really needed it. I realized from my Smash and Splash victory that even if things are going really south, I can have a lot of fun playing Smash in tournament and 
just that's kind of like what's been sticking with me and I think has been helping me like really do well in ultimate. Let's go Pichu. Let's go Pichu. Let's go Pichu. Ooh, what a clean start. Initially, at least for ultimate, Nintendo invited a bunch of people to VIP and try out the game. For the most part, like I already knew when the game came out, I'm like, I need to find a new character. He predicted like on day one, pretty much, that Pichu was gonna be busted. Like Pichu was gonna be a really strong character. Pichu was just so much faster, you know, so much stronger. Like he was doing like jab locks like day one, just like getting all these optimal kill confirms on and the game his game sense is remarkable. I'm more worried, like I might have to do a Genesis 6 rematch versus Samsora. So it's like I'm not done yet. <laughs> I can't. I don't have time to be relieved. Oh man, he tried to catch the lag on the extra air dodge. Sensora looking for this forward air. He is so brave, Void challenging the forward air with an air. Oh man, that Pichu shield is looking really low. Goes for the, but no air dodge from Sensora. Oh, air dodging right around. The drag down into F tilt from Void. This oh, is anyone's game. This can go either way. Oh, but the forward air connects, and Samsora is your Kawaii Con 2019 champion. Even when he moved to SoCal, he still brought that like sense of aloha. He could have gotten a huge ego. He could have been like very mean or whatever, just kind of like shrug everyone off. But he still keeps that respect that he learned from Hawaii, and he shows it to everyone else. Like when he just walks in, there's just a whole bunch of happiness. Like it's always a good time being around Void. You could depend on him for anything. He's always so caring and very supportive. Yeah, he he's so beloved here. He's a He's a real stand-up guy. He's always down to give advice, to play with people. He's so humble. He can do this, because he has the drive, he has the skill level, and the, like. I haven't really seen anything that like can get in his way of what he wants to achieve. I want to treat gaming as a hobby, but when you want to make that transition from hobby to like something you want to do for your life, you have to treat it like that. So when it came to like my free time, like my free time was trying to improve. Like, I had to catch up to these other people because I knew what I wanted. And if you want to be a pro gamer, like, you really have to treat it like that. Because if you don't, there's somebody out there that is. And somebody out there might have more resources than you. One of the things that keeps it, like, great for me, I play games because I have fun playing games. If you get really stressed out about it, like, it makes it a little tougher. But as long as I kind of made sure to find the fun in it, play with friends, find new ways to play, like, I could always stay motivated. So the best thing you should do is worry more about the journey, more, worry more about the improvement, the resources you have, the friends and the rivalries you might get, and just don't take it for granted.